Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Okay, put some coffee on. Ooh, look at the weather outside. Coffee's on. Eat it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh man, the weather looks absolutely terrifying. Oh, we got a new TV? Oh, we didn't even put the TV up yet. Holes, my dear. Oh, really? This is our office, right? Linda Wake, uh huh. We've been writing some books. Oh, this looks like the guns from double, or not double seven. Uh, go, or, and geez, took me a second. Trying to sell us another manuscript. Wait, wants us to examine something else? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. Alan! Alan! Please check uh -oh. the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Okay, we'll check the honey, fuse box, guys. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Oh, no. The building is undergoing a power outage, guys. We must be careful. Are we going outside? Nope. I'm not going there either. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Candles? I know, it's stupid. But it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Bright balls. The present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Thousand questions. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If All right, you then. Any worse, or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image holy of crap. Look at look at that fishing pole. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Well, well, yep. There we go. Oh man, that's a big giant sheriff vehicle. I think they're about to send me to prison, guys. They might think I'm the murderer. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, we're at the sheriff station. Never mind. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. Not this lady again. Be changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have there's a nice day. Now. There's something up for her. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Mr. Wake. The sheriff Alice is was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. Are we going to go out here? Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Okay, in her office. Got it. Parking lot holding cells. We will take that coffee. We will. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. 
So they're still trying to find Stucky. They have no signs of where Stucky is. Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you down the corridor in her office. Okay, Sheriff's office, guys. Let's find it. Let's see. Sarah Breaker would be there, but... Oh, no, we can't check anywhere else. Oh, there's an ambulance here, too. Look at that. All right, here we go, guys. One's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's really, Did you go through my phone? I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Uh-oh. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Oh, boy. Can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. They won't they don't understand. They won't listen to me. Oh, he wants it to be bright too. Let's go through the hoarding sale section, guys. Well, you already know we're gonna go in here. Grab everything we can. All right, we're going out the back. So we gotta figure out. The light hurt my eyes and made my headache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." Oh no, the fence to the left. Well, so much for the sheriff station and all the help. But before we go doing all that, look at. Huh. That's a pretty good detail for like an older game. Like that's crazy. Like it's not like super super great, but for being what it was, not bad. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was I know. something for me in an abandoned car. Uh. Oh, wait, I think I see it right here. Kick it. Oh, jeez. Just, just destroy it, right, don't you? Well, that's to knock that down. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller Ooh. meant business. Barry? Uh-oh. Listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Okay, so she's been kidnapped. And Barry just came in from out of town. It's already crazy stuff, man. All right, let's do it. I don't know what happened to him. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently... Uh-oh, here we go. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elder... Yeah. Though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Uh-oh. The offer still stands. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Uh-oh. Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? <laughs> oh, boy. What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. 
She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. All right, that was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little log cabin we're in, guys. Like a little museum exhibit that we have going on. Big giant. Al, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Well, to the funny farm we go then, guy. Okay. That door opens. Easy there, boy. I'm Ooh. almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Oh. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. All right, let's go grab that registration form. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. Oh, uh, he, he's going crazy, guys. Oh, we never grabbed the form. All we did was sign in. No! I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. So why is the dog wounded? Just and again, we are seeing that bear master. trap. It's right below that. Wow, we got to go all the way up there? Look, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You yeah, basically. From people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay, okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. Oh, we're supposed to walk with him. What I'm saying is, you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think Barry's going crazy. Ow. Ow? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Oh, man. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> He's got the code, guys. He's getting sick. So we got ourselves a nice little cabin we're just kind of camping out on from the sheriff. Got some... what, what is the point of the coffee? What does the coffee even do for us? I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait, batteries. You do want to keep the lights on. It's a nice little picnic table. Look at this. Oh, no, guys. We're getting, we're getting the, uh, we're getting the black crows. I'll be with you in spirit every yeah, hold on to four while I do all the work. You got this. I, I don't know. I shoot. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Well, let's find, find out who these kidnappers are. We're probably just losing our, holy shiznits. What is going on here? The hell? Okay, this place has gone mad. It's gone mad! Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? Just saw somebody walking out there. A lot more organized than I ever seemed to manage. <laughs> no plan. All right, we're done here, guys. Let's keep going. Oh, what the hell? What the heck is going on here? We got a nice little playground. Oh, it moved. Oh no. Okay, we got another cabin to go to. This one might be haunted, so let's be ready. We must be ready for impact. Okay. This one's got a little camper on the outside of it. Kick it. Are we just gonna break doors now? Ooh. One way to do a break in and entering, but hey. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. There's blood here. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, 
the man in the mirror. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said right. you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming. Am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. In the mirror. All right, we need to book and out of here, guys. We do hear a lot of the birds. A lot of the crows are outside. They don't sound too happy, though. Hey, we have an abandoned car here. And a manuscript. Oh, no. I think we're in big trouble. Come on. Oh, I'm coming. Please help me. Oh, no. We got to help Rusty. Anybody? Help me. What the heck is going on here? This is not good, guy. Not good. Oh, Rusty was the sheriff guy. Hello? Help me. Somebody back here. I'm back here. Hey, please help me. Oh, he's in trouble. Where's his dog? Mr. Wake? Oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights... In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Shh. Good boy. Okay, guys. Well, we got the key or whatever of some sort. Well, what came in and attacked? No? Well, he said the office, so it's got to be this way. Yep. The, the park range is up. The sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Okay. We're going to unlock that bad boy. There's a light there, guys, but we're going to double check everything else. So what are we looking for? Ooh, supplies. We'll definitely take those. We need every single... I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was oh, no, no way to get the lights back on. No! Oh, he's done for. He is done for, guys. Oh, man. That looked like liquid darkness. What's the point of these? Oh, no. Oh. All right, we need to reload, guys. Reload it up. Reload it up. Go, go, go. We need to finish this. Is that it for the dark stuff? All right, let's go inside. Let's check on Rusty, guys. Maybe the dog? Oh, no, the... Mammoth sized hole in the wall. It wouldn't have anything to do with that, would it? And the doggy's missing too. Don't feed the animals. Don't feed the animals. Ding is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park. Oh, there. At all times. Never. Two bears and wolves. Never approach any other. Oh, he's, he's, he's been taken by the darkness, guys. Come on. Ooh. 
There we go, guys. We took him out. We took him out. No, we lost. The oh, we in trouble. We in trouble. Okay, we took him out too. Very good. Very good. All right. So those guys are taken out for the count. Let's grab some pistol ammo here, guys. I love that we have like unlimited here, right? That's good. But still, we have no sign of the little dog. That dog could not have just disappeared like that. Where did it go? All right. Oh, no. I think the woods is getting hungry, guys. Don't feed the animals, but there's something out there. Drop hazard? Oh, no, guys. This is like... Oh, this is light. Why did it give us health? Why? I mean, something bad's about to go down. You better be ready for it. Cell phone. Answer it. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Oh, yeah. So, Barry, don't open that door, man, because people are just dying here, guys. You know what I mean? People are getting decapitated and a whole bunch of random shenanigans. Look at this beautiful view. I'm going to have to come back to this park again and revisit. You know what I mean? Check it out. See what's going on with it. All right. Oh, wait. We're going to open this box. Got some emergency gear. We're going to grab the batteries. We don't need revolver ammo. We're actually pretty full. All right. We're moving our way down. Go, go, go. For your safety, stay on designated hiking trail. No. We're going off the trail. Well, I lied. We're going back on the trail. Do not feed wildlife. $100 penalty. Well, that's not good. We got Lover's Peak. What exactly going on here? Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. I did say we wanted to go to Lover's Peak. Entering Moonshine Cave. It's open. Did we not want it? Oh, yeah. There is arrows pointing this way, guys. There's a secret. Let's go check it out. Moonshine Cave. Site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the prohibition from 1919 to 1933, guys. There's a guy up there. I see him. saying not good there is a thing up here though what do we have another shotgun another crate all right we are out of here we are done get out of the cave go 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 all right down to lover's peak is where we need to go guys do not feed the wildlife remember that do not feed the wildlife the hell oh we're about to get attacked that's what the flare does holy crap it took out a whole group of those guys that's a very, very useful item. I didn't realize it was that good. Okay, so the phone does not work, guys. We can hear the dial tone. Please hang up and dial your operator. Cross the bridge. Let's go. Run. Oh, we could change our field of view, which is kind of nice. Lover's Peak is this way, guys. I think that's exactly where we're going. I think we are running on stamina, though. Where are you guys? I know you're here. Show yourself. Run to the light. Oh, yes. We feel so much safer now. Okay, so the visitor center is that way. The cafe souvenir shop is that way. But the lover's peak will be this way, guys. Let's continue it on. Oh, no. Not good. Oh, no. Oh, what are you doing with me, sir? Dodge it up, guys. Dodge it up. Dodge it up. Oh, what the? Dodge it. Oh, no. More of these guys coming inbound. We do need to blind him for a second. Okay, dodge it. Oh, you just smacked me, didn't you? Okay. You want to play hardball. Come on, I'm watching you. Reload it up, guys. Reload it up. Weapon reloading. There we go. I don't know where we're going. Lover's Peak. Keep following the Lover's Peak, guys. Go, go, go. Stay on the trail. Remember what the sign said. Stay on the trail. You almost made it to the next light. We're going to run it. Okay, we're going to start this bad boy. That's exactly what we're going to do here. One more, one more. Boom. Nice. Some nice little flashlights here, guys. Another drop hazard. Another emergency box. We're going to take that. Flashlights. I love how every emergency box, instead of band-aids and, like, cooling cream or aloe cream, we have handgun bullets and flashlight batteries because those are more important. Look at these guys. They're in the axe at everything. Okay. All right, they want to break everything, huh? 
Oh, we get to move everything around. That's cool. Another manuscript. Let's keep it moving. Bear alert. Oh, no. Guys, this could be... This could be bad. This could be really bad. I don't like how that sign said bear alert. What are you doing? I saw you. Where was they? Oh, not these guys. Come on, shine it up, shine it up, shine it up. This is a big guy. Oh, whoa, he hit you more than once. Oh, we actually might die for the first time. Yep, we did. No, no, we didn't. Oh, dude. Ah, I got stuck. Ooh, that took me a few tries, but we finally managed. Holy moly jabroli. We managed pretty cool. So where are we going now? This way? No, this is not where we want to be. There was a path that this guy was blocking. Where was it? Oh, right here. Duh. Through tree. That's the name of the trail. Through tree. Okay. Let's find out what's on this side. Something over there I want to check out. Lover's Peak is that way. Oh, of course. It's blocked off. Just hop the fence. We're not going to do that yet. Let me, um, let's see what's over here. Okay. That just moved on its own. Interesting. Dates from 1846, the year of the Oregon Treaty. What about the Oregon Trail? Yeah? No? The tree this ring was cut from started growing in 1846. The year of the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on the rings. Oh, look at this, guy. It's got the history of everything going on here. So that's actually pretty cool. All right. That was it. This was just more of a sightseeing type of deal. I guess we go back the other way. This rock. Here we go. Made way. We're on the other side of the Lover's Peak. Oh, wait, wait. We got a manuscript. Let's pick up that bad boy. All right. Let's continue. Oh, no. Those are the sky carts. What the hell was, what was that? All right, hold on. We got a map here. We cannot read it. The light for more health. Pretty good. Evil crows again. All right, guys. Here it comes. It's coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. They're coming. Every single one of them. Wait, who shot the flare? Come on. We got to get moving. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. The flares, you say? Okay. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I know he's a gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Okay, so then he's going to knock them down. Okay, okay. Well, I just heard footsteps. Do you guys hear that? Oh, oh gosh. Get him, get him. This guy can shoot good. Oh, my God. Damn it. Oh no, we are low on health, guys. Is that it? Is that it? Here we go. Oh no, he's wounded, guys. He was wounded. I was wounded too. We both need to find a, some light source. Get our health back. Oh no, another one. We need to keep the light on him, guys. Keep the light on him. Nice, nice. His body's fading. That is a bullseye. All right, what's in here? Lover's Peak. Think? Right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. Uh-oh. Here they go. That's... That is definitely me. Get some light on those bastards. We're gonna lose it. Okay, well, I'm running in. Goodbye. You're on your own, buddy. What are you shooting at? Oh, yeah. One down. One down. Get the other one. Come on. Get the next one. Get the next one. There you go. Get him. I think we're done here, guys. Go, go, go. I'm happy now. I feel safe in the light. That's how it goes. Wow. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. 
Oh Give no. Goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Oh, I I was well, I stayed dead dead into that. Nice, nice, nice. That's right. Come on. Ooh. There we go. Another one down. Another one down. What's going on? What's going on? Oh no. Oh, look at this guy. What you swinging at? These these guys, man. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh! There we go. They are a piece of cake sometimes. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. What the heck? Uh-uh, not to... Okay, they are just throwing... Oh, the big guy's just watching? Hey, he can keep watching. Nope. Come on, shoot him. What the hell are you doing? Shoot him. Nope. He, he needs to get these guys. Take out the little grunts. There you go. There you go. Now you can shoot this guy. Okay, we need to dodge him up. This guy is not going to stop. There you go. Now you can shoot him. Oh. Come on, come on. Take him out. Take him out. My health's regenerating, guys, but not too good. Ooh. Yeah, well, we almost... We Let's almost died. For bad. You touch her uh oh. Oh, no. Take the gun. Oh, he's running. He's running. He is... I got the revolver ammo. So, come back here. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice. Do you hear me? Come back here. So he was on our team, but then he was not on our team. So I don't know what's going on. And he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. How many manuscripts are we missing? Oh, we're missing four pages, guys. Oh, man. Oh, no, wait. There's more. No. I had to get back to Barry. And figure out my next move. Okay, well then we just need to figure out. Oh, was that the way to go? I guess it was. Oh no, we're in trouble, guys. Oh, what the? Oh, I saw it too, but I saw the light and I thought maybe it was a good thing. That trap herded. All right, so watch out for the bear traps, guys. They are not safe. Look at all these. Oh my. What's going on here? Bear traps out the galore. Okay. Couple supplies here that we can take. We got the crows out there too. Oh wait, it doesn't. Okay, follow the trail. Oh, okay, we're going across this thing. But then we better make it. Go, 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 Mr. Allen Wake. All right, make sure to. Oh, you son of a gun! What do you want with me, buddy? Ah, uh, what you want? Oh no, reload, reload. Oh, that was close. All right, we're just gonna keep moving, guys. Hopefully there's no more traps out here, right? No more traps for our feet. Are we safe? All right, now we need to hurry. I think we're going this way. It's getting darker and darker by the minute, guys. Not good. Make it through the woods? I'm trying. Oh no, we can hear them. There we go. That was nice. So we may wait to some cover. Oh! This is not good at all. I thought I walked right into that. This guy. Okay, we shot big guy. And that other little guy kind of stepping in our way there a little bit. How many of you guys are there? Okay, guys, we are reloading. We need to get moving. We need to get in. Oh, we got a generator here. Start it up. Start it up. Go. Come on. One more. One more. Oh, nice. We got the light. Oh, that feels good. Okay, we're going to take those batteries. Another manuscript here. Pick all those bad boys up. We got a shotgun with five bullets. Not bad. Okay. I think we go this way. There's a flare here. We just hit a checkpoint. Oh, oh he got me.
Come on. No, you don't. Not you, buddy. Make sure we're fully reloaded. Oh, I did it with a shotgun. No, I didn't mean to use the... Oh, because we're out of bullets. No. Oh, no. Dodging it up, guys. Dodging it up. Oh, man. I need to reload. Oh, he got the hit on me. Ooh, okay. We're, moving, we're ready to continue on here, folks. I feel like they're going to come behind us. I sense a gank coming inbound. Maybe not. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're down to the shotgun only. This is not good, guys. Oh, we can reload a shotgun all we want, but we don't got much ammo. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Oh, okay. Never mind. That makes sense. Man, guys, we just don't have the ammo. Let's take these out. Hey, what else are we looking for here? Oh, thank goodness. We got 12 bullets on the ammo, guys. Reload it up. Because we will need it. Okay. Come on, give me some more bullets. I need bullets. Okay, we need to reach the top. But I'm assuming the stairs is not the way to go. Like, it's probably blocked off. I don't know, maybe it is. Oh, we did get another manuscript. Going up the stairs. Looks like it's a dead end. Oh, we kicked this. Uh... It's going to want me to run and jump on that. Okay. All right. Well, if that's the case. Oh, no. Oh! I almost screwed that up, guys. I almost fell, fell, fell. All right, we got a couple flares here. Let's grab those. At this point, we're going to need all the flares we can get. I still don't know what the coffee does. I wonder if that's just health. I think I think we're at the top, basically, right? Oh, no, we're, we're at the top, top, guys. What is all this? The weak darkness. Where is her face? Oh, no, not good. Yeah. Let me beware of Widowmakers. What, what, what are you talking about? What do you mean beware of her face? That, that don't sound too good, guys. Ooh, a hunting rifle. Or is that is that what we had the whole time? I have no idea. But it looks like we're going to jump, jump on this, so. Oh, emergency box. We'll take it. We'll take it. Come on, give me some ammunition. This is the lowest we've been on handgun bullets in a while. Okay, where am I going now, then? I feel like we got to go this way. It's a negative. What the heck is going on here? Oh, here they go. Two big guys. Oh, man. We're getting shotgun ready. Oh, too soon. No. Oh, man. We almost died. Okay, reloading. Get that bad boy out. Okay. Getting closer to the top. Let's see what we got. Another. Another. Oh, yes. Please, dude. I'll take all of this. Here's the campgrounds. What was that? Oh, no. We got falling trees again, guys. Oh! That's not... So you had to use flares on them. Whoa, this guy is tanky. Okay, so flares did work, but not the normal flashlight. You actually had to, you had to, either, we had to either zoom in or flare. Which I think a flare would have been better, but... It's okay. Okay, we're back up here again. Oh, yeah, but it looks different now. Oh, no, we got a phone call. Barry, stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the light. Oh, no, they're going to be coming for Barry, guys. Not good at all. I had to reach Barry at the cab, but at least I was out of the woods. Okay, yeah, at least we're out of the woods. Something's about to go. Sh it would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. Hmm. Well, the headlights are definitely a welcome bonus. Look at this manuscript here, guys. Is it a bathroom with no stalls? Such a weird place. Oh, no. Awkward. Oh, garage keys. Oh. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. 
Well, that's not good. But we did get the garage key, guys. Oh, what the? This guy coming out of the bathroom like that. What's wrong with you? In the ladies' restroom, too? What? All right, well, I guess we're just going straight for the garage. I feel like we're about to get into a battle here. Or maybe not. Let's get this bad boy unlocked. All right, we're in the vehicle, guys. Do we get to drive it? Oh, we do. We get to drive it. Oh, my gosh. We can drive a car. Okay. Let's see what's over here. It's going to be a dead end, guys. Turn it around. Oh, no. Okay, so we can't boost the lights. But do they regenerate, though? Oh, no. Oh, man. We need to get back on the road. Get back on the road, guys. We got to get the berry. Barry's a big trouble. I don't know what was the deal with that guy. We got porta potties. Do we need to take a pit stop? We go that way? No. No, I think we still continue on, guys. Okay, we've been here before. We go the wrong way? Oh, we have to go this way. Oh, gosh. I can even drive. I see our car has a battery. What's up with that? Oh, okay, so do we have to go on foot now? Oh, looks like it's about to go down. Ooh, dodge it up, guys. Dodge it up. Dodge it up. Oh, no. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch. Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... A week. It's not done. I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. That's not good, guys. That's not good. So for the rest of this, we had to go on foot. Oh, no, there's the birds. Look at all the birds. Poor Barry. Barry's in trouble. We got to go help Barry out, guys. Here we go. He talked about birds over the phone. Yeah, he did. We hear him. Oh, no. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Oh. Oh. Okay, just keep the light on them, guys. Keep the light on them. We don't want them attacking. Come on, stay alive. Here goes the next. Here goes. Oh, man. All oh, those guys using Chico. Oh, what the? Okay. Come on, a little bit more, guys. A little bit more. A little bit more. What the heck is going on here? We need to let this recharge. Come on, a little bit more. They're almost done for it. They're almost done. Oh, man. Guys are coming in deep. Ooh. Barry, you can open the door now. They're gone. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Oh, well, now, 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 now he's. I sent Barry to the town. Happy that we're here. Around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something, anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Oh. Barry Wheeler speaking. 
This is Rose. Rose? I found the pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Can you tell? We'll be there in less than an hour. Oh. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old year. Good. We knew that lady had something to do with. Uh oh. We'll go ahead and do this so that way. Copyright or nothing. The end of chapter two. Has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the wow. guy type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zink. We're going to pause it right there, guys. We're going to go ahead... We did episode number one and number two. I hope you guys enjoyed these episodes as much as we did. We have more coming at you very soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those. We'll see you then.